I'm planning a landscape shoot around Keswick. I absolutely love planning a photography shoot. I check the weather, check the pressure charts, and I check a map and see exactly where the sun's going to be at a certain time of day. And with that information, I choose my location and try my best to pre visualize the shot that I want. So, it's about 4 4 30 in the morning, and I'm about halfway towards the location for my sunrise shoot. The weather is looking like a mixed bag. To be honest, it could go either way. It was forecast to be clear, and it looks like it possibly is clearing up, but you just can't tell. So at the minute, I'm not sure whether this whole thing's a waste of time, or if we're actually gonna get a really nice shot. We'll have to wait and see. Well, I'm getting a little bit more hopeful now. There's a bit of colour coming through. So, hopefully we might get a shot after all. I think what else is good is there's no wind. So the lake below is just like a mirror. So it's just going to reflect any colour that comes from that sunrise. So the sun's come up and it's very hazy but that adds to the atmosphere. I'm just starting to get a bit of success. I wasn't sure at the start um, but now that the light is hitting these rocks in the foreground it's all coming together. So I usually try and do as much in camera as possible. Uh, the conditions are very challenging today um, with it being so hazy so I'm using an array of filters. On the front here I've got a polarizing filter then I've got two ND grads um, both of them two stops one's hard edge one's soft edge and that's all of those filters are just taking the edge off and allowing me to get this in one single exposure it's magic I'm loving the atmosphere actually I was a bit concerned with all the haze because usually us landscape photographers like a bit of clarity and some nice crisp clean light but this morning we're getting a lot of atmosphere so that's uh, that's equally as enticing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a human element and I'm going to go and stand in shot see if I can add something else to the foreground Make it a bit more interesting. Let's see if that worked. Yes, self portrait. Well, I'd say that was a success. I'm really happy with how the light turned out. Although I've got to admit, uh, at 4.30 this morning when I was walking up here and it was cold and cloudy I didn't think we were going to get a sunrise A lot of people have asked me um, if I do more tutorials uh, but to be honest I think anyone can learn how to use a camera it's actually quite easy the difficulty is getting up and getting out so that would be my advice to any landscape photographer rather than worry about your kit worry about where you're going to go next and at what time because that's how you get really good images is by planning and going to the right place at the right time
right. Now we're going to head back to the office and, uh, and do some editing and uh, hopefully get a great print out of this image. Okay, so I have got two images here, they're both exactly the same except I'm in one of them. So there we are. Now the first thing I can notice about the pictures is there's a colour cast on the sky and that is from my filter but that is easy to get rid of. So all I'm going to do is select the tint and just pull back the purple and brush it over the sky. Just this until it looks right. Okay, another thing I've noticed over here is a dirt spot. Always get rid of the dirt spots. It's just, there's no excuses, no excuses at all. You've got to get rid of them. I'm just going to change the white balance and warm it up so I get nice warm tones. There we go. I'm going to reduce the highlights. Just lift the shadow slightly to reveal a bit more detail and boost the contrast to give it a nice crisp look. Okay, now looking at this, I would say it's a touch overexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second image and I'll sync them and everything selected. And there we are, and there's me. Now, looking at me, I would say I am a touch dark there, so I'm very carefully just lift. And now I'm going to make a print. I think this image with me in it might work well as a stock file, so I'll probably upload that to Getty Images and see if I can sell it. You never know. A walking magazine might take it. And this one here, I think we'll go for a print. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, if you want to check out these images and a couple more that I've taken recently just go to my website and uh, you'll also find links on there to Facebook and Flickr where there's a lot more going on. Um, also feel free to leave any comments um, or like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.